Chelsea. Oh dear. Thank you, Enrico, and also Patrick Chan. Good evening, everybody. I stand here before you tonight, deeply humbled and honored to be acknowledged as a woman in style and substance by people that prestigious, very prestigious, People's Asia. This honor marks a journey of, of sweat, sweat, grief, and an unwavering dedication to every touchdown of my government work, volunteer work, activities, and engagement. Substance wasn't only about accolades. It was about the winning cheer. It was about the impact I could have had on the young athletes who saw themselves reflected in my journey. The road in every touchdown of my career and volunteer work hasn't always been paved with gold, although I used to say everything I touch turns to gold. But there were moments of doubts, bruises, pains, and pressures of unfulfilled expectations. But through it all, I, I kept the core value that defined my strong work ethics and deep, deep love for my country. These values are clear in my heart. They are the true hallmarks of women of style and substance. Tonight, I share this recognition with the young women and girls who dare to dream big. True style and substance lie not just in your achievements, but in the inspiration you ignite in others. Thank you, People's Asia, for, become, for recognizing me as a woman and, and stand behind the gold medals and behind the good governance I continuously promote in my government and service and private engagements. This award inspires me to keep pushing boundaries off and on to inspire others to come. I end by saying there are many different kinds of leadership, but I have, I have limited time to explain these leaderships. So I end by saying leadership is very important because people will forget what you have accomplished, but will never forget what you have done for them, never. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Thank you, my family, for being here, and my dear, dear friends for being here. Thank you. Another study shows that 14 million out of the 15 million solo parents are women. Two weeks ago, I attended the event of a group of more than 100 solo parents, and there were only five men. Needless to say, women in our country are the most disadvantaged gender. But tonight is about women breaking glass ceilings. I grew up in a family of six, and my father, former Las Piñas City Mayor, Mayor Nene Aguilar, was the only man. And truly, I admired his respect for women. He nurtured us, his four girls, 
to be entrepreneurial, independent, and strong women while leading with grace. And my mother, whom he encouraged to lead our city as the mayor for more than nine years. Wow, wow. This story should serve an inspiration to a male-dominated society like ours. It requires a certain level of maturity to develop strong and independent women. For some, women empowerment begins in the family. For others, outside of it, in our schools, in our workplaces. But one thing's for sure, its impact will end in society. In the next couple of months, I shall be adding a new path ahead of me, beyond my entrepreneurial ventures, to try a leadership role in local politics. I will use this platform to stand for women development and legislate programs that will create an environment that will end women inequality in our communities. Currently, there are no women in our council. So I hope in my own way, I can break the glass ceiling. I am honored and grateful to be standing here tonight, accepting the award from People Asia. I want to thank Ms. Joan Ray Ramirez, who I truly, truly admire. And I would like to also thank Alex Vergara. Thank you to my family, my husband Martin, my two children, Alexa and Vince, my sisters who are also here, and lastly, thank you to my mom, Mayor Mel Aguilar, who is the first woman to break the glass ceiling in our family. This award is for you, Mama. Thank you and good evening. For that introduction, uh, His Excellency Ambassador uh, Romaldes, who just gave his message earlier, Ms. Joan Ramirez, Thank you, uh, Mr. Paolo de la Cruz, to the Chan family, thank you for providing the venue for this event. To People Asia, it is truly an honor to be recognized as one of the you know, recipients of Women's Talent Substance. I'm deeply humbled to be in the company of this group of women who exudes style and substance fabulously and seamlessly. It is truly an honor. For me, a woman of silent substance must be able to do three things. Some in the word she. I love acronyms. First, she should be able to stimulate by her unique sense of style and unbridled passion. She should be able to persuade other women to not settle for second best, and to be always and to always have a voice on issues that matter. In whatever and the door she embraces, it should always be a thought, I mean a well thought act of excellence and purpose. Because a woman of stance and substance leans in, she stands out, and she makes a difference. Next, a woman with style and heart should be geared to heal. Everything that she does should be focused on sincere acts of kindness and should be able to make a difference by doing things better, to restore order, and to promote peace and sustainability. Her, her desire to heal is not limited to her personal uh, lives, but basically in all aspects of her life, including the workplace. And lastly, a woman of style and substance should be able to empower, to share her power to those who have less power because she's authentic, she's able to mentor, she entrusts, and she would, she's able to delegate to the next generation of women leaders who eventually will take charge and change the world. And of course, um, I'd like to share with you this this song um, from the, the film Nothing Hill, She. Um, may, it may be a different, Pops, I'm sure you know this, it may be a different uh, 
things, no, for all this breed of women, but it, it, it's within the measure of a day. Is it correct? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone, and of course, I'm deeply honored to receive the, this award. I feel so indebted to you, and I'd like to share it with my family, and most especially with my son who's here, and the rest of my Wilcon family. Thank you for this award. As an athlete who has spent most of her life training and competing, tracksuits, gym wear, and my fencing outfit was my daily get-go. And having migrated to Europe in 2021, it's also safe to say that I have missed almost all important occasions and events here in my homeland. And as such, I didn't have the chance to wear those stilettos and really doll up like any ordinary girl. So receiving this award is, a really, is really a surprise for me. But nevertheless, I'm really grateful that I'm considered as one of the recipients of the Women of Style and Substance. I guess beauty and style are projected differently for an athlete like me. The bruises I receive from daily training, the surgical scars I have from injuries, and the medals I wear when I win are the clothing and accessories that I am most proud of. And that makes me shine and shimmer like I am tonight. The eyes of some girls my age sparkle at the sight of a diamond ring. Some will become breathless when given an engagement ring. But for me, I received the most thrilling high when I became an Olympian and donned the Olympic rings. I guess all of us here today had our own moments of glory and challenges to overcome that makes us uniquely beautiful and individually complete. And as awardees tonight, let us recognize that responsibility, the responsibility that comes with this recognition. Let us endeavor to empower young girls not only in the Philippines, but globally, by showing them that strength and beauty are not mutually exclusive. Let us inspire them to embrace their uniqueness, to be proud of their battle scars, and to understand that true beauty lies in resilience, courage, and self-belief. Together, let us redefine the, be the redefined beauty, style, strength, and success, inspiring new generations of women to, em to empower themselves and to conquer their dreams. Thank you. To be part of the list of all these fabulous, successful women. Thank you very much, people of Asia, for this. When they, uh, <clears throat> when they told me that I would be part of the awardee of the Woman of Style and Substance, I had to ask myself, what exactly is a woman of style and substance? Well, for me, a woman who is not afraid to fail because she knows it is the best way to learn is a woman of style and substance. A woman who admits her mistakes because she is humble enough to better herself. A woman who is confident to be different because she wants to make a statement. A woman who is not afraid to actually say exactly what her age is, although I always joke about it, because as of these days, and I must, and I think you guys will agree with me, that age does not matter, right? It is exactly what it, it is exactly our talents and what we have to share that is most important. All these I have learned through life experience. I thank God for His grace, His mercies, His patience, his guidance, and his blessings. I would also like to thank, I always call them my heroes, my two boys. Now there's an added addition to the family, my grandchild. heroes Why are they my heroes? Because during the times that I was so down, uh, they gave me enough strength to move on and never give up because of them, I wanted to be better. I also would like to thank the biggest hero in my life, which is my mom. <clears throat> because she has given me the strength, she has taught me to persevere, and she has also taught me never, never to give up. <clears throat> I have been blessed with wonderful friends and family. I, I thank my family for all their support. They're very quiet and very shy, but I know that they're always there for me. And of course, I have a great support system through my friends 
who are, are always there uh, whenever I need them the most. I think that's the most important, important thing when it comes to friendship, right? They are there when you need them the most. And to all the women, never be afraid to show who you really are, because what's important is you. Never be afraid to be different. Never lose your self-esteem, no matter what other people have to say. It doesn't really matter what they have to say, because you know, you, you know yourself best. So it's always best to be you. I thank you so much once again to People Asia for this recognition. Thank you, Joanne, and everyone uh, behind People Asia. Maraming maraming salamat po. My wish is that I would continue to inspire everyone, most especially the women, and most especially the single moms. Uh, not just through my music, not just through my words and my voice, but also through my life experiences. Because despite of the challenges that I've been through, I have become me. Maraming maraming salamat. Good evening, everyone. And of course, thank you to our esteemed guests. It is with a sense of profound honor that I stand before you tonight as one of People Asia's Women of Style and Substance awardees. I'm also grateful to stand alongside, of course, a spectacular roster of accomplished women. So congratulations to you all. You all look very lovely tonight. It is moments like these that remind me not just of my own journey, but of course, the many people who are part of it, molding me into the woman that I am today. I dedicate this uh, recognition, of course, to my family who is present tonight. Thank you for your unwavering support, and of course, for the legacy that I am very privileged to carry. She's so beautiful. To my mentors, colleagues, and to the communities we serve through my foundation, Pangarap at Kalinga Foundation, thank you for inspiring me. As I reflect on my journey from being an avid learner to then a Miss Philippines, and then later on, of course, stepping into my role in the family business, and then pursuing passions in entrepreneurship and philanthropy, I've learned that true fulfillment and inner peace comes from serving others. My utmost goal has always been about making real, lasting impact, an impact that I hope will continue to grow as I do. So, a woman of style and substance. Well, fashion-wise, style-wise, I have to admit, I do not dress up very grand on a daily basis, though I was a former Miss Grand Philippines. But to me, a woman's unique style is only truly revealed when she moves with grace under pressure. And I must say, I do have a lot of pressures. While substance, on the other hand, is the ability to create lasting, meaningful and connections and change. This award to me serves as both a reminder and an encouragement to simply keep on going. I'm very excited for what lies ahead in my pursuit for public office in Congress. And I remain committed to the values that guide me as I do so. I can only humbly hope that I can continue to make significant impacts along the way, of course, with style and substance. So here's to empowering women and the youth, to uplifting and fixing the crowns of other women, and to inspiring beyond your communities and making a statement. Here's to upwards and onwards. Thank you again, People Asia, for having me.
right? But I can see the smiles of each and every woman right here, and men at the same time. Um, you all look fantastic. You're all dashing. It does feel great to be rewarded for hard work that one does, and I can't thank enough, of course, People Asia for choosing me and all the other women here. Um, it is a fantastic evening for all the audience right here. I proudly accept this honor on behalf of every member of my team, that is including just a small team, and that is my mom and my dad. I think when I was awarded, and or I knew that I was gonna be awarded for a woman of substance and style, the first person that came into my mind was my mother. My mother has already taught me how to dress up, pero lagi akong nagipag-away sa kanya when she always wants me to tuck in my shirt, because I always have to take it off. My mom has always taught me to be kind, to be humble, that even if people can sometimes do you wrong, because I knew I grew up that I did not have that standard of beauty. But my mother has always taught me to be kind to other people. She is the first person that comes into my mind because I knew, I know, I wouldn't be right here right now if it wasn't for my parents. So this is a great moment. The honor serves as a source of inspiration for realizing that my dreams, and of course, for all of my future endeavors. More steps are done with determination and concentrated intentions in order to bring aspirations to reality and prosperity in all endeavors by earning such physical awards. It will be, we will be more driven to for, perform our best now that we have this trophy in our sightings. This is a remember or remembrance that through our prior events or efforts as well as motivators of our future efforts. I would just love to say that in pageantry, I think that is also another thing that comes into my mind when I think about women of style and substance. I mean, come on, these beauty queens will be put into such beauty, beautiful gowns, all the glitz and the glam, but it is much more than that. It is our purpose, it is through our advocacy, as cliche as it may sound, but there are a lot of women out there in pageantry, in stages like this, that has a voice now. I am so honored to be here that I see these women that actually first time ko lang sila na meet, but we have the president of Mega World, she's a woman. We have a finalist, or of course a fencer uh, from the Olympics, and wow, I wish I could be that. And Miss Fox Fernandez that I am a fan of. I think that song with Mr. Martin Rivera was so beautiful. Thank you for that. But again, in pageantry, it is our purpose. What is it that we always love to say? What is our calling? I think women in itself has to be put in there that instead of having substance and style, we are empowering. We have that voice, we have the ability to influence a lot of people, and as this time right now, when I'm standing right in front of everyone speaking, I don't think I am just influencing, but I have been influenced at the same time. So I assure you that my future actions will only be beneficial and efficient after I receive this award. This evening has been made even more wonderful and memorable for me by each and every one of you. Once again, a heartfelt thank you and gratitude that I will be accepting this. Thank you so much to People Asia.